Nityanandam. Nityanandam. My name is Lin. And my name is Mapushkala. Yes, we are at our guru Paramahamsa Nityananda's breathing space in Bangalore, India. Paramahamsa Nityananda is the living avatar, the reincarnation of Shiva. Yes. So today we're very much excited Here the camera. we are very much excited to share our experiences of the breakthroughs which we are experiencing here in the Adi Kalasha. You so, mean super consciousness breakthrough? Super conscious breakthrough, absolutely. And what I mean by that exactly yes. is that, you know, um, the of course we are here and we're manifesting so many different shaktis. We're initiated into the third eye awakening. Yes. Right? So once, once Swamiji, Paramahansa Nityananda, when Swamiji initiates us into third eye awakening, uh, we are able to express various different shaktis. Now what that means is that shaktis are the different, various different powers, right? Now, when we express these various different powers, we are getting a breakthrough, not just expressing some power as if we're just doing something, but also in all different dimensions in our life. You know, I can say that through this powerful, first of all, when we're uh, expressing the shaktis, they happen only when we have a powerful cognition about who we are. So when we are living in a breathing space of an uh, enlightened guru, when we're living in a direct breathing space of an incarnation, we see our possibility when we see him, when we see his body language, when we see the, uh, the, level, of, the level of compassion he radiates, the expression of oneness that he radiates, uh, meaning that even in the mission, how much he has done for the world, just one person starting from the scratch, how much he has done and, and has made the space of possibility, peak possibilities available for thousands of people around the world. When we see that this is possible in an embodied form, we also recognize that it is possible for us. So from there, the journey starts. When we sit with him, when we listen to what he has to say about how to handle our life, how to understand who we are, how to, how to see, what I mean to say by that is, up until now in the society, we understand who we are through what the society has taught us, isn't it? So whether it's, you know, whatever our mom and dad tell us, like in the beginning, you might have heard someone say, oh, you're not a good girl because you're not listening or because you, you don't keep up with your grades. Whatever the idea you pick up about yourself from an early age plays a really important role in our life. So we see everything in our life based on what we've been told. And so naturally, we attract that in, in turn, mm. continuously. When you are with the Guru, you see your high possibilities. You see a divine in an embodied form. So you also want to, you yearn to experience that for yourself. And that's exactly what he lands in a form, like Malin says so beautifully, he's an incarnation of Shiva. So when Shiva is in the form, he's here to give us that experience and speak to us in the language which we understand. So we can also see that the possibility exists for me as well. If it's there, if it's there in him, it can be there for me. So anyways, when the powerful cognition happens, we learn how to handle life. We learn how to relate with life. We learn how to see the peak of our possibilities. And through those powerful cognitions, when we are in the state, we start to express the shaktis of the third eye. So when the master initiates us into the third eye, we express various different powers. For example, some of the powers we're able to express are body scanning, remote viewing, so many uh, blindfold reading, so many people express various different powers that come and get initiated. And the beautiful thing about the conscious breakthrough is that it is not just some powers you sit and you express and that's the end of it. <laughs> Actually, you break all limitations, including physical limitations. You know, there's so many barriers which we hold on to, again, because we identify our self with this body. The moment you are expressing the shaktis, you are just nothing more than a channel of the source. So as that, as that source, when you, that inner image, that low inner image which we hold, sometimes we don't even acknowledge that we have it because we're so constantly trying to fill the gap uh, of the lower inner image which we have by showing something completely different on the outside. So when we express the source, when we channel the source within us, immediately there is an elevation of consciousness which happens along with that. So even if there's a barrier in the body, there's some element, there's some physical restrictions, you see it, it is all of a sudden not even there. Like I'll give you an example. When you're here in the Adi Kalasha, you are, uh, it is Swamiji's intentions, but it is our actions. So when Swamiji tells us to do something, we just do it. Because we know that it is, uh, meaning that uh, like even if we don't know, we know that he's telling us to do something it is for only our good so when you follow the actions of a of swamiji's intention simply you break all limitation even in, in the physical body so if you think you're not able to lift something or if you feel you're weak or if you feel you have a back pain you will see that through the master's work aligning yourself through his work you will get a conscious breakthrough and next thing you know you're bending your body over like even for yoga you will think you can never bend your body over or you will think no 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 this is i i'm too old i can't do it 
in fact, you will realize you're getting younger and younger by involving yourself with life. So any and everything that a master does here in Adi Kalasha, it is uh, such a beautiful conscious breakthrough for each individual in every aspect, whether it's a relationship, whether it's your wealth dimension. Because see, I realize that in every dimension of our life that is important to us, be it relationship, be it wealth, be it health, and whatever it is that we desire in life, it is only uh, it is only a direct reflection of what we already feel about it. So don't we say, I want money. Already we deny that yeah. we, are, we are good enough for it, yeah. right? Because that is a thought current which we cherish. So when you're with the master and you align yourself to life, you involve yourself with him, you break so many of these cognitions. So it is such a great uh, blessing because people come here from all over the world. You know, we have various different programs that happen here. Not even just those like us who reside here. It is such a great blessing actually to live around uh, the energy space, meaning that we are living in his breathing space. We are eating with him. We are just in his space all day long. But even those who are coming here just for 21 day program, you know, inner awakening, even two day weekend programs, Mahasada Shivam program, they're getting a great conscious breakthrough through the manifesting of the Shaktis, through breaking all the limitations and barriers of the, of the psychological problems which one experiences in the stressful world we are living outside, or the physical elements which one believes that it is impossible to overcome. So that is my experience by so far, mm -hmm. that um, whatever restriction there is, when we authentically say yes to Swamiji, we are saying yes to life. And in that, it is only life's responsibility, Swamiji's commitment to take care of us. And honestly, conscious breakthrough happens effortlessly. I can say it is not something that you need to you need to sit in one place for 10 years under some tree or do some meditation. In fact, we don't do any meditations here. No. <laughs> we just sit with Swamiji, we get initiated, we just fall in tune with the space of oneness. We just align ourselves to his mission, which is basically nothing more than elevating our own consciousness. And the conscious breakthrough in all aspects and dimensions happens so effortlessly and it unfolds so beautifully that an individual, I can say, just feels so complete and fulfilled in life. It is my experience by so far. Thank you so much. Of course, Ma. How about you, Malin? What can you share with us? Yes, I, I can. That is a camera. Yeah. I can't believe she didn't prepare. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm so. Uh, amazed by her <laughs> speaking. I mean, uh, actually, it's not a coincidence we sit here and she shared because while she's speaking, I had so much, so much click, so many clicks. Uh, all the things that recently happened just start to get aligned because they were individual incidents and I didn't really pick up the message out of those. So I want to share like what you, what Mapushkala said about the physical dimension, I never thought super conscious breakthrough could happen on that dimension because I know what Swamiji was trying to to do uh, for us, like to break the physical barrier, the 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 thought current, the definition we have for us, like certain things we do and certain things we cannot. Uh, I have so many uh, like breakthroughs in that dimension, but I. I never really realized it helps for the superconscious breakthrough also. So that's like something. Thank you for, oh. for pointing out. It is amazing, Ma, because I can say that, you know, in the very beginning, coming from the outside world, we carry so much resistance because that's what all we're used to. Um, naturally, when someone tells you to do something, you feel belittled in whichever way, or you feel yeah. like life is against you. So the first yeah. thing that naturally comes up is resistance. So it is only through my own personal experiences, having to gone through that resistance, and then coming to the understanding, okay, no matter what, he will wait for me patiently. The master always so compassionately and so patiently wait for us until that click happens, that powerful cognition happens. So thanks to Swamiji, actually, that you're able, we are able to experience and, and we're able to share yeah. this through the experiences. Yes. Um, aside from that, um, uh, the, the way you spoke about how we develop this uh, super conscious breakthrough by living with our avatar, by, by seeing him, by, by um, behaving like him, um, this never was in my experience. Like, it was uh, before I, like, the last time I talked about super conscious breakthrough, uh, I did a video previously, like just some, some weeks ago. Uh, I, I shared the experience I had, like I could physically feel when I'm out of authenticity. Like if I say something that is not true, uh, even if I don't understand, my body would react. So that was what I experienced on the physical level, uh, being super conscious. But like what you just shared, the, the oneness, being oneness with Swamiji, uh, 
Actually, I had so powerful experience um, yesterday. At uh, noon time, I was scanning a a lady. Um, at that time, uh, she told that she wanted to know her past life with Swamiji. Like, and then uh, while I was doing that, I really f realized Swamiji in me because I started to say I. I was not saying Swamiji or him. I was using the word I. Like I was telling her how I see this, what the truth was, what the message was. I was telling her at that time. And at the same time, I felt the vibration was so high and I felt so in love. And I just teared up because of the so too much love. So, so, so I, yeah, I told her, like, I literally I felt I was Swamiji. Swamiji was me. And then after that, we in the evening, after some hours, we had Dasham. The first time, I saw Swamiji as if I was him. Like, he was... I just... One feeling, I want to become him. That's the constant, the, the feeling I was having when I was having a Dasham with him. So I was crying again. I felt so, like... I So much I long... I'm longing to be him, like a super conscious, like that power, yeah. So that was a breakthrough I had, and today you are lying everything. It's a beautiful place. Wow, it will, and that's a oneness, you know, it's so beautiful. Yeah, that's oneness, about, yeah. Because the, the master tells us that all we need is a yearning to be him, right? Yeah. There's no qualification needed, and despite of where we're coming from, whatever we believe ourselves, you know, whether we believe that it is possible for me, success is possible for me, enlightenment is possible for me or not, or that I need to be from a particular understanding or, in, or mm. you know, whatever idea we think that we need to be mm. to experience the peak of our divinity, it is not even needed because when you're with the master, yeah. just a yearning, just a, just a wanting to be with him is enough to bring you close to him. So it is nothing more than the space of oneness that we can actually come together, not prepare for this video, and just yeah. be in tune with whatever experiences are. Exactly. I'm, one. I'm very thankful because after that experience, I was actually having this question, what was that, and what does it mean? And Swamiji answered my question by putting oh. <laughs> you to me, answering this through the video. Thank you, Swamiji. Uh, thank you, Swamiji. <laughs> So beautiful. So nice. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful experiences and for giving me the opportunity to record a video with you, Marlin. And thank you so much thank to you. all of our thank viewers you. out yes. there. And um, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nityanandam. Nityanandam.